Okay, in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you would um, produce a page which refines a particular um, idea. So here we've got a shelving unit on the left that's made from wood and plastic and metal. And I've just written down a list of some of the manufacturing processes that would need to be completed in making this particular model. So it really doesn't matter wh where you start, but in, th in this particular example, um, this sketch here represents um, the template that would be used to mark out the shape of the boxing glove. And um, that's how you would use, that's the marking out method that you would use to mark out the acrylic. Then the next sketch talks about, illustrates how to um, bend the acrylic. Um, it's going to have two bends at right angles. And so we're looking at it from above and it would wrap around this block of wood that has holes drilled in it. And uh, this block of wood is basically the pencil holder. Um, and that, the acrylic gloves would then be screwed onto the side of the block of wood. Right, so I'm using sketches and notes to explain these things. Uh, I've got another sketch here just to uh, clarify that this is a block of wood um, that has four holes drilled in it. I've got some more information here about um, bending plastic um, around the block. And remember, you're always trying to demonstrate your knowledge of Manufacturer, so it says plastic can be bent easily using strip heater. Um, need to work out the sizes. So in your refinement, you will have to try and work out some of the relevant sizes. Um, I'm now indicating where the bend lines would go. And then we go on to the next video, which basically involves adding some extra comments. Um, in this case, the shape would be cut out using a scroll saw. The edges would then be finished using wet and dry paper. Um, so again, demonstrating your knowledge of how uh, manufacturing process and how you're going to make your model. Um, in terms of size, I would say that 45 millimetres, square 45 millimetres by 45 millimetres would be suitable. And I've indicated that on a relevant drawing. And the height of the glove um, would be about 130 millimetres. And remember, these sizes you would get from your scale drawn, your scale orthographic. You can go back and add these sizes. The next sketch then looks at the manufacture of the, the metal rails. Um, now the metal rails would involve turning the end here to create a pin, um, which would fit into a hole in the back of the model. Um, what metal would we use here? So you're talking about materials. So the actual metal that you would use here would probably be aluminium because aluminium is a malleable metal and can be easily bent to 90 degrees. So I've now got a sketch illustrating how you would put it in the vise and you would bend it to 90 degrees using a hammer. Um, then the next video again we're adding some extra comments here. In this case I realised I didn't have any comments about the material so I'm saying Acrylic uh, comes in lots of colours and is easily bent using a strip heater, right? And then I'm adding comments about the metal being made from aluminium, which is malleable and can be bent to 90 degrees. Aluminium is attractive and easily turned. So all the time be aware that you're trying to illustrate your knowledge of materials and manufacture. Again, um, I've got, we're thinking in this case about graphics, I've got lots of 2D graphics and 3D graphics, but I thought this would be a good opportunity to have a sectional view which shows the pin fitted into the hole to hold it, um, the rail against the wood. And then finally, we've got a sketch here that looks at the woodworking joint that's going to be used for joining the sides to the back and the back to the shelf. So we've got a rebate joint, um, exploded view. So I've used a exploded view. So we've got a whole range of different graphics now in this one page. We've got four different types of graphics. 
and then I've got some notes explaining it further. Um, this will be a half lap joint, uh, and it'll be glued to the sides. And then we've got a rebate joint at the bottom, um, which would be cut out using a, a rebate plane. Okay, so it's very quick. 